When I first opened the Nautilus on this very channel, I thought this would be a black and white ballast song. Well, yeah, Marty, it's a black and white. Just, just let me talk, okay? I think you and I are gonna have a lot of similar opinions on this. I thought this would be a very open and shut case, an easy video. I mean, it's a Nautilus. It has to be good, right? Well, yeah, it is. But I think this ballast song is a little more gray than it initially might seem. Coca-Cola. Let's start with the unboxing, because I was pleasantly surprised when I received this box in the mail. It's a very nice quality box with a nice pull tab, and inside the ballast song is tucked in in its little sheath. I was expecting the old Squid Industries box, and to see this one was a nice surprise. I was actually very happy with it. Overall, it's a very good unboxing experience. The design of the Nautilus is, as I said in my first impressions video, freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. The blade design is beautiful. The white G10 on the black aluminum is awesome. The sound it makes is just amazing. It's just an overall gorgeous ballast song. The lines in the blade, the circles and the lines in the handles, the bite indicate. I could go on about it for hours. I love how the Nautilus looks. It is probably one of my favorite looking trainers out there. And quite honestly, it flips as good as it looks. It is handle biased, but it still feels neutral. It fans really well. It does rollovers really well. Z chokers feel automatic. I feel like I can just flip with this thing. The light weight is super awesome. This turned me into someone who likes light things like the Vortex the Nautilus, the Marin Light, theoretically. And the G10 is super grippy, although I will admit it is a bit chalky, and I find myself having to wash my hands after I use it because I don't really like the feeling it leaves on my fingers. All around, it's an amazing and fun flipper, and I just so desperately want to love it. But Ethan, everything you've said so far is super positive. Well, let me take you on the journey that this thing and I have been on. You might have noticed that I haven't touched on durability, and that's because this ballast song doesn't have it. What do I mean by that? That's tap. And that's not just tap, that is full on blade rub. The blade of my Nautilus impacts the side of the channel whenever it closes and whenever I shake it. For a ballast song that costs $260, I find this unacceptable. I have ballast songs that are half as much, that don't even move, much less have play or blade rub or tap like this thing has. This is the most expensive ballast song in my collection, and it is one of the only ones with tolerance issues. So let me take you fully on the journey that I've been on with this thing. I received it and only had a few issues out of the box. As seen in my first impressions video, one of the handles had a problem with swing, but it resolved itself pretty quickly and I chalked it up to just being tight from shipping. I ended that video and then realized just how much play my Nautilus has, but I didn't think much of it because there weren't any other problems present. Now, I knew you couldn't beat the Nautilus and I didn't. I kept it over carpet and I only dropped it while I was sitting. So I only dropped it from maybe two, two and a half, three feet up, sitting height. In two days, the blade started impacting the side of the channel every time I closed it. I thought, oh, no big deal. 
I'll send it back to Squid, they'll fix it back up. And to their credit, the warranty process was amazing. Super simple to get a warranty set up, print out the label, send it back to them, and they had it back to me before the week was even over. It was super fast. I got it out of the box and I read what they did, replaced bushings, washers, pivots, and installed new tang pins. I wasn't sure why they installed new tang pins, but all right, I'm happy with it. I was overjoyed to have my Nautilus back. I, I had really missed it in the time that it was gone, and I was excited to actually use it without having to worry about ruining the coating on the blade with blade rub or anything like that. Until a day later, when I dropped it on stream, picked it up, and the blade rub and the tap were back. I would... I'd probably say glider. Oh, that's tap on my Nautilus. Is that the blade rubbing again? I think it might be. Are we back to having the same problem two days later? And now it's got tap again, even though I just got it back two days ago. How's your Nautilus holding up? Honestly, I wouldn't even be that upset about this. But let me remind you that this is the most expensive ballast song that I currently have in my collection. And it is the only metal trainer that has that problem. And you might just think it's just me, but it's not. It's not just this one isolated incident. I've seen so many instances from people telling me on stream, from seeing it in Discord servers, of people who purchased the Nautilus around the same time that I did, or after having the same problem, issues with tap out of the box, bent blades, blade rub, all of this stuff that shouldn't be happening on a 200 plus dollar trainer from one of the most reputable Balasong brands out there. And you know what? Maybe I'm being a bit harsh. Maybe it is a super easy fix. Just get in there and tune the bushing up, get rid of the play and the blade won't rub anymore. But when I'm paying this much for a Balasong, I shouldn't have to do that especially when I sent it in for a warranty service. And like I said at the beginning, I want to love it so much. It's a great Balasong. Do I recommend it? If you can get one that holds up, yeah. I really desperately want to love it, like I said. But given my experience and the experience that others have shared with me, I wouldn't hold my breath. Unfortunately, the Nautilus no longer has a future in my collection. It went from my trainer grail to a Balasong that sits in its box on my desk because I don't want to damage the coating on the blade. I would rather just get the money I have into it back and put it into other Balasongs that I'm sure won't have these issues. So that's my complicated history with the Nautilus. I really don't want to sit here bashing Squid because they've done so much for this community, but I can't give this thing a glowing review like I wanted to with the issues I've had with it. Unfortunately, the Nautilus did not live up to the hype for me. Sorry if the shot looks any different. I was so quick to try and wrap up the video in like an edgy, cool way that I forgot to do an outro. So uh, yeah, if you think I was too harsh on the knot, definitely let me know. Come into a live stream, let's discuss it. Maybe join the Discord in the description. Uh, follow me on Instagram, also linked in the description. And um, check out the new podcast that Ty and I launched called Blade Bias, again, linked in the description. Like I said, if you thought I was too harsh on the knot, if you really like it, let me know, let's talk about it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.